Okay, everybody, complete transformation process for Wreck and Rule Voyager Class Springer. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and the actual review is separately uploaded. Let's start off by turning into the side, taking the front wheel, folding out this at the back. This will cascade out into two, so the gray and the green, then take hold of the arm, fold this back up and the green tab will fit into his fist like so. Turn it around exactly the same, hold the wheel part at the, well, the wheel arch at the front, take the back, fold it out, fold that up, hold the arm, fold it underneath and clip that in place. Come round to the front, turn the head around and separate the whole of the chest piece like that. It will double cascade out. Once you've done that, fold out these green tabs like so, fold the head right down. And if we have a look under here, see there's a huge cut out there. We're gonna get this tab into there and then these two yellow tabs will fit into this part here. So lift this up and over clip that into place and lift that into place. Leave this now, to be honest, like this. Maybe just turn them around and the front is pretty much ready for us to come back to in a second. With regards to the legs, take the wheel part out and take the fins out like so. These are all nice and neatly tucked and hidden away. Loads of the bottom of the engineering is brilliant because they've got it all tucked away for all modes. Take the foot, fold it out. In fact, you can fold the foot out, no issues whenever you want. Take this piece out, take the fin from the inside of the leg and bring this down as well. And like so. Now what we need to do, so you've got the dark gray there inside the middle of the leg. That's gonna stay the same. If you push the lighter gray, this will rotate there. Pretty much the knee joint to be honest, we're gonna fold it back over itself See the shapes of what these feet are? These are gonna fit snugly into there. So this is where, it, and honestly, it can get quite tricky. So let's fold them over on themselves first. Lift this back bit up. Let's keep these front parts out of the way for now. You can see what we're looking to do. It's gonna come underneath like so. I've pushed that back and I'm lining this up onto there like so. Same with this. So dodge all the upper kibble, which I've unfortunately just caught. Bring this around, drop that into position. Once it's there, you can start to clip all these together like so. Clip, clip. That's pretty much gonna sit there. Now we're just gonna draw our attention to the top. Now what I found to make this easier with this, like what we need to do is we need to get this black tab into that gray cut out. Now what I actually do is hold on to the whole robot, push this up until you hear it click, and then it's much easier to line this up underneath like so and it will click into position so what i did you can see it's this tab there once you push it up into position it's going to go into this cutout there so once it's pushed up click it in and then push in so again from this side there's the black tab make sure it's pushed right down and clicked forward then you're aiming to this gray slot on this side once it's in double click push in then take the back part straighten up all this you've got cutouts there and there and cutouts there and there this is going to come over and press down into them and that is your cybertronian vehicle mode okay so from cybertronian vehicle to helicopter again bear with me this again is quite tricky so let's lift this part up let's separate these here as we do this separate the hand you've got this green little wing here fold it out slot out the whole part compress back over on the fist, turn it round and rest there. So what we did on this side is we open up from the fist, we lift up this green wing, we bring it back, close that down into the fist, turn this round, and that's pretty much them done. And then what we need to do is separate the whole of this back bit, like so. So once that's lifted up, you can see we've got them there. Just make sure they're separated and the back, which is exactly what we've done. Then what we need to do is take this feet part fold this right out so the bit that's got the foot on fold it right out once you've done that fold the whole leg right out and then what you're going to do here you can see you've got the hip part here this is going to actually fold down on itself you can see it's done that that side same here fold it back on itself so once we've done that we're in the right place then what you're going to do you're going to turn over like so turn them around like so so then you've got that what we need to do then is with the feet what we're looking to do is need to get the tail out. So we're gonna bring this over. We're going to fold this back over on itself like so. And then we need to open up this bit as well. Did you see that? So it's quite tricky. So what we need to do is fold this over, turn the foot over itself there underneath like so. And in the meantime, open up this 
and then that sets out the tail part. So now it's just a case of clipping all these together, bringing these together underneath. So these aren't gonna fit over there now. This is just gonna line up underneath like so. Once it's under there, again, bring everything together. Now what we need to do is these are gonna be down, not as far forward. So what we're looking at is this hole there into this tab here. So let's line this up, press this into position underneath. Same with this bring this down you've got this tab here the hole in the forearm underneath to line it all up clip it in clip it in on this side you can hear it all click click this over as well you've got cutouts there and there and we've got the huge tabs in on this so let's bring this in line push it into position make sure that the hip part underneath here is fully clipped in as well and there you go put the blades on the top it's helicopter mode Okay then, so I've taken the blades off, so we're going to go from helicopter back to robot mode. So it's just a case of lifting up this, let's separate in the legs underneath like so. These are all joined together by loads of little tabs, and let's just separate these front pieces because we can bring these up, separate the tab from there, and bring these up out of the way. This is where it does start to look and get quite messy, so let's fold that over like so. In fact, let's fold these wings in there, fold that under, same there bring it in then we're going to fold this bit over which is the foot then what we need to do is we need to push this up back in as a hip so we need to turn it around turn it up as a hip and bring this down same on this side turn it around push it up as a hip click it into place and then what we've got to do is we need to spin this around like so because this needs to fold over itself there you go there's the leg and then the foot will turn around and end up on the bottom side. So what I'm trying to do is show you this side's already done. This is going to come around and go underneath. So what we've got to do is replicate that on here. So you can see it's the wrong way around. Bring that under, turn this around underneath, fold it over. There's your feet and the hips and everything are in. You've now got to separate all this here by lifting up at the front. This is where it gets a little tricky because it is quite tough to separate all this. But once it lifts up, I'm trying to get everything out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Because the hips, once they're in, it's just this part here. It will separate up. Let's have it lifting up from here. You can see it's going to come out. There it is. It was just a simple little touch after that, to be honest. So this is now lifted out. Right. Let's bring this open. It's stuck under there. Fold. Oh, we don't need to fold them in yet lift out the yellow tab from there turn the head around right let's start to bring all this back together because all the backs folded right down bring it all up on itself like so what we need to do now then this is where it can be a bit tricky what we're looking to do is we've got two yellow tabs underneath there they're going to fit in to the cutouts of this there so you can see the black cutout there same on this one if i lift this up now it's literally going to slot into it you'll see it push in when i do it so let's stand him up straight this is probably easily one of the most fiddly figures that i think they've made to be honest i know loads of people have absolutely panned it for its transformation processes but once that's in the figure's in you can clip the um shoulder part in he says then what we need to do is sort all this out because of course the wings aren't done let's click the shoulder bit in into that cut out there Okay, so what we needed to do is we need to lift this part up. We need to take this wing bit, remember, turn it all the way around, fold it back in, clip that down there, and then this will this will cascade under itself and back. So what you didn't see me do was if I fold this all the way up, turn this around, push it in, fold it over, cascade back, cascade back. There's the shoulders, straighten up the hips again bring these parts up and then of course just position the backpack how you want it but there you go that is an incredibly difficult and fiddly uh wreckers voyager class springer thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe